well, you don't want to keep saying that, but I think there's a little bit of that in it. I mean, look, they're a quality side and they're purring at the moment. We know that. Um, they did take their chance very clinical. That's gone against us. You know, I've mentioned it in recent weeks, actually, where, you know, we haven't taken ours. And, and you know, we've, we've actually done pretty well overall against these tonight. I think, you know, there was a lot of good signs. We have created chances, which is difficult. We've had more of the ball than we've probably had ever against uh, Liverpool, I think. Um, but it, you know, there is the gap, and the gap is there for, you know, to see they, they're created. I think they three shots actually on target and, and scored three. You know, that's, that's sometimes what it is playing against these sort of sides. You know, they invest heavily in quality players, and when they're on form, they show it. Um, as is a development, you know, kind of plan, and we've, we've definitely got a, a shift in that direction when it's in the top there. Because we've got some great, great moments again tonight, you know, some really big areas, important areas of the pitch, which we should create more from or do better. That is a challenge for us going forwards, definitely. He gave their centre half a, a, a thorough examination. To be, to be fair, they still up to it, didn't they? I thought Woody was excellent. Um, he's in really good form. I thought his team play was very good. He strengthened his play. Um, he gets a, a, a chance, which he has been put in away, so I'd never knock him for that. Um, Rowley did okay in there as well. You know, we're just playing around with that look and, you know, can we be effective with it? Because, you know, the fault with that shape is can you be effective? And at times we were. So, you know, there, there's, look, it's, it, it's been a long, hard season for these players, but they're still going. And I'm, I've been really pleased that it's absolutely, you know, no lack of effort, no lack of intent there. We're still trying to get back in the game. You know, but Ben Mias will clear off the line and the like. Um, so, the, you know, I'm pleased with that side of things. Just that next step, I think, you know, that continuation of trying to mature is, is the top third of the pitch. Because generally, not so much the last couple, but generally we've been good defensively over a season. Got a good clean sheet number again. Just finding them key moments in the top third of the pitch is really important. What was the thinking behind the change of goalkeeper, Sean? Obviously, the Premier League debut for... Yeah, Bowles Bale, has had a real tough run of games. He's, he's still developing as a keeper, and we believe he is developing. Will's been terrific, to be fair to him, around the group and in, in and about. That's why we've come on the bench a number of times, just out of respect for him, really, and what he's done now. Tough ask for him, but I thought he did OK, actually. You know, you can't really start examining the goals too much because there was a lot going on in front of him to, to allow him to get to it. Um, yeah, and equally, the idea with the change of shape, you know, just looking at... We looked at Man United with Brown in there and thought that went pretty well. Um, and tonight there were signs of it again. So just trying to operate in different ways, you know, and see what players we've got available to do so. Um, and the challenges that go forwards with the players that we need. A buzz to have some of the fans back in at least as well. Yeah, yeah, terrific. I mean, look, there's a long way to go for, the, you know, forgetting about football just for life. But it is great to see fans back in. You know, it's, it's been a long, long time. You know, I do believe fans make a difference for a lot of lots being, you know, mentioned about at least recently about our, our home form, not so much our away form, because obviously that doesn't make a story. Um, but the fans are important. They've been important in my time here. They've always been important. I think that edge that they can help the team bring will be important going forward. So hopefully on the back of all these uh, test games for the next season. Sorry, I sure lost you there. Just went to sound went off then. <laughs> Can't hear you. Okay. Sorry, mate. Um, right, should we move on then? Um, is anyone from Sky on the line yet? No, okay. And the uh, Alex James, please. Final lap. Evening, Sean. Evening. You mentioned the sort of reverb. Your reverb's there again. Good luck. Is it? I'm, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Never mind. It's the last penultimate time you'll have to hear it. So, um, you mentioned the, the final third, sort of perhaps the, the lack of the final pass or not quite taking the key chance. Was that your, your biggest gripe, I guess, from some of the performance tonight? It's not really a gripe. It's just not going. You know, we, we've early season, we weren't getting into the right areas. We have been getting into the right areas from, you know, from that period. And, and obviously, don't get me wrong with you know, created enough to, to get 39 points in the Premier League and make sure we're there. So I'm not going to over-egg that, but I think it's a, a continuation of developing the side is, you know, getting into key areas, but then finding that calmness to play, um, uh, not necessarily play, to, but, but to find the calm moments when they're key moments. We've shown it at times, don't get me wrong, but it's important that we find more consistency, I think, on that side of our game. And you mentioned Chris Wood's performance. He's obviously had a really strong end to the season and, and tonight led the line as, as a sole striker, if you like, and, and just showed a, another side to his game and, and how much he's developing into a complete centre forward, really. Yeah, really enjoyed his performance. I told him that afterwards. I've been enjoying his form lately. I thought he was very good in a, in a similar format against Manchester United away. 
um, he's, he continues to mature, I think, into a, a fine player, a final round centre forward. Still more to come, I believe. But no, he's he's been very strong for the, the last number of games and scored some very important goals as well. And just lastly for me, there's there's been a report come out tonight in the national media that Ashley Barnes has been arrested for drink driving um, after the Fulham game. Any comment from yourself or the club on, on that, whether that's that's actually the case or not? No, just uh, it, it is the case and that will be dealt with by the powers of the which is the police, of course. Alex, we have a statement that we'll send out if you need it. Say again, sorry, Daz. We have a statement ready that we'll send out if you need it. All right, OK, thank you. Anybody else? Is that it? Thank you. Cool. Thanks.